Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball. It's a surprise episode for a surprise signing. Real Muto goes to the Phillies. Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball. How's everyone doing? We hope you're doing well. We were winding down here at the John Boy Media office in the Bronx. The day was coming to a close. And then we get the news that the Phillies and catcher JT Real Muto have reached an agreement. Five years, $115.5 million. He goes back to Philly. Bryce Harper gets his wish. And Trevor Plouffe is pissed off about it? That's not true. Oh, okay. That's okay. not true okay. at all. Bad lead-in by Close me. Close call. I have so many awesome little fun facts for people. Give um, us one. Wait, 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 wait. You got tidbits? No. 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 <laughs> oh, okay. Just fun facts? Just fun facts. I, I've had him in the bag for a while. We've been waiting for JT to sign. We've known it's going to be the Phillies. They were playing a little dance, a little charade, if you will. But here he is back in Philly where he belongs. And it keeps the Phillies... I'll just throw one out there right now. It keeps the Phillies World Series contenders. Okay. World Series. World Series. World huh? Series. Which World Series? Poker. Was a crazy game of poker. I lost it all. A lot of OAR concerts in Connecticut growing up and my first concert at Red Rocks. Um, not necessarily Ooh. proud of it, but it was a good show. Jim, how are you? I'm doing well. Good. I went to an OAR concert as well once. We go together? Maybe. Connecticut? Probably. Okay. Hartford. Hartford. Heartbeat. Right this up your this guys, seemed probably. inevitable uh, that Real Moto was going back to the Phillies, especially when Dombro came on board and was like, ah, they're going to get him. Um, and the way the NL East is playing out, if you're the Phillies and you see all these teams making moves and you don't bring this dude back, I think you're in a bad spot. I think that means you've now like kind of lost your edge or whatever. They needed to bring him back. They bring him back. I like it. The big news is they got Ivan Nova on a minor league deal, and we'll talk about that at the end of the show because, I mean, I know that there's people that really only care about that. It's the biggest contract the catcher's had ever, but with some stipulations you guys are saying? Maybe D. Biggest free agent signing by a catcher ever. Like Mauer's deal was bigger, but he never hit free agency. That was an, it was extension. Just an extension. To beat I don't, Mauer's AAV record for was, uh, yes, that was the I don't that's such a dumb semantics game. So it's not the most a starting catcher's ever been paid in Major League Baseball. Most AAV. It is the most AAV. Now we're back to me being impressed by it. Yeah. By point one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck what a You can be in the middle. <laughs> what a relic. No, I just don't think it's a fun fact if there's so many caveats. I think that caveats make fun facts. Mm, Trev's got some fun tidbits for us. Trev, give us one tidbit. Three, two, two one. one. Not only is JT Real Muto the best athlete for a catcher, he's one of the best athletes in all of baseball. We can talk about that by his sprint speed. His, his sprint speed in 2020, 28.2. Name some guys that you think are fast. You'd say uh, Jake Marisnik. He flies around the outfield pretty quickly, right? Like young, he's a fast guy. He steals bases. Mel Castro. Young Randy Moss. How about um, I have another one? Willie Hussein, Adamas, Joey Wendell, Hussein AJ Bolt. Pollock. <laughs> I like Joey Wendell. JT Rumuto sprints just as quickly as all those guys, and he's a catcher and has way more muscle. He's a lot bigger and sexier mm. with his shirt off than those guys. And he still runs just as fast. The guy's an athlete. You actually well, short said Joey Wendell. You said Joey Wendell. Coming up as a youngin, which most of us are. Okay. There's music playing. Can you guys hear that? Yeah. I know you can. I don't know. <laughs> Trev can hear it. I In cannot. the other room of the office, there's uh, a show just blaring. <laughs> I don't think you guys gave that enough credit, that that, that stat right You there. threw us off because you lumped Joey Wendell into the fast dudes, and we don't picture him as fast at all. Now I'm checking How the numbers George on George Springer? Joey Wendell is fast. How about George well, Springer? 
George Springer's fast. Joey Wendell's in the 83rd percentile. Real Muto's in the 84th percentile for s- sprint speed. So anyway, he got the most money the catcher's ever had. AAV, five-year deal. What is what is the AAV? 115 divided by five? 23.1. It's 115.5. Okay. Point a lot one. of points. A lot of points. A lot of points. Needed to be done. If you're a Phillies fans, you're excited. I don't know who came in second place. I would guess they bid against themselves a little bit. All of the fake interest tweets um, were kind of hilarious now because when you saw them, like the Braves are circling and the teams on the West Coast are poking around, like that doesn't mean anything. That's just his agents leaking stuff to try and get the Phillies to bid against themselves. Probably worked a little bit, bumped them up. It's a good contract. I don't care about the money, really, for the Phillies. Um, I'm happy Romuto got what he's worth. I just think they needed to bring this dude back if they wanted to be players in the NL East. It's a crazy division. The fourth place team is looking like it's going to be a really good ball club. And if you want to compete, this is what you need to do. Especially when you have Bryce Harper publicly saying, like, hey, if we don't bring him back, I'll cut my head off in center field mid-game. That would have been wild. Yeah, I mean, they've got an identity again. I, the The Phillies have a lineup, and it's... I mean, McCutcheon, Alec Bohm broke out last year, Harper, Real Muto, Hoskins, Segura, uh, and then they've got some flex options between Roman Quinn, Kingery, uh, Hazley. So they've got a lineup. They've got Nola and Wheeler up top, uh, and they're reworking that whole bullpen. You know, Archie Bradley, Alvarado. Don't get me started on Connor Brogdon. So uh, we'll see. Can Spencer Howard break out? We were just talking about this hours ago. The NL East is a mess, just a mess. And uh, I don't know. It's I, I think it's going to be funny because something we'll probably talk about in a minute is that the marquee free agents are kind of winding down. The Braves haven't made their big move yet, and I'd still bet that they're going to do something. And they've been the kings of this division. Um you know, the Mets are more in the mix than they've ever been. The Nats, we're still not sure about. So, I don't know. I, when you say World Series contenders, Trev, I, I, uh, I'm kind of the eternal optimist and get hot and believe in it. But this Phillies team doesn't give me that at all. I get it. You like to see another guy in their rotation because Nolan Wheeler is a very fine one too. Sure. So we need either a, a Spencer Howard or a Vinny Velasquez, who um, he's been working out with Jay Flair and Archer, so I've been talking. Ooh, wow. Now, Vinny, he's changed a lot of things. He's been around some guys. Maybe something clicks with him. But I would like to see another arm there. But I think their lineup can go toe-to-toe with anybody. The bullpen got a little bit of help. I would have liked them go to see them go get uh, another guy, which there still are plenty of people out there. I don't know where they're at with this whole threshold thing, what they're trying to do. But I will say that, Jim, you said the top four teams in the East are going to be pretty good. I would say all five of them are going to be pretty good. Oh, the no, Marlins, Marlins are going to stay. are leaving out. We're out on the Marlins. We're out on the Marlins. We decided. Oh, well, they made the playoffs last year. I know it was expanded, but whatever. I'm I, not, this is going to be a hell of a league and I can't a hell of a division. I can't wait to see. If you wanted me to out. choose two teams I was out on out of the five in the NL East, and the Marlins may be good. I don't want to, like, upset the Marlins fans, whatever. They have young, young, good pitching uh, but I would I would say the Phillies and Marlins are the two that I when I go to their roster and I see it on paper, Jake, I'm like, mm. ah, eh. because really what I do is I just scroll to the pitching rotation, um, and comparatively it still lacks for me. Do you think the Phillies? Phillies. And Phillies. Yeah, yeah. I Phillies. Think you're still talking about the no, Marlins. No, no, the Phillies. Like, that's that's what they got. Okay. Do you think the Phillies and Tampa compare as a team? No. No, I think Tampa's better. In what way? I think organizationally and yeah. pitching, <laughs> pitching, <laughs> pitching top to bottom. A little bit of recency bias. Pitching. Top I don't know to if the, are their starters better now. The Rays. You guys don't like Glass now. You t- you say Glass now is a three. Yeah, I mean it's true. I like Yarbrough. I like Torinos when he's right. But I man, yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. The Same. Rays are going to raise. They, a, they like didn't can, have exactly the time that they wanted as, as Harper's been there, but they're still positioned to be a very good team. And this, they had to do this to continue to have that feeling. Are they a piece away? Probably. But this is this can be a very good team. Baseball. 
We'll find out. I don't know. Are they done? Is that it? The I Phillies? hope not. I really hope not. There's some, there's some value. Pitcher. Now go grab Odo. <laughs> I want every yeah. team to grab Odo. Go grab Odo Rizzi. You now you're me, in. Like you now give you're me in. Odo on the Phillies, and I can buy in. What about Paxton? I mean, I like it as a I flyer. Like, I like still, a lefty you know? for them. I do like a lefty for them. You know who they just yeah. grabbed the though? Is they're just they're in the freaking East, man. I mean, I've been Nova in the Central. What are you saying about him? I've been no fun. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, maybe that's their move. That's their move. Uh, you know what Ivan Nova yeah. did in his last 14 games in 2019? Give it to me. He had a like a three ERA. That was pretty good, I remember. It's like a three ERA <laughs> and did well. Because Jake and I thought it was going to lead him to get like a good deal, but didn't. Yeah. Or like a signing, but it didn't. And then last year it was bad. Look, you get Alvarado like kind of right. And you got him with Archie Bradley, and if you get Hector Neris kind of where he needs to be, like that's a that's a good start to a bullpen. I do like the bullpen there, mm. but I don't know. Yeah, I if they're gonna do this, they got Dombrowski, right? I, I don't know, you know, their prospect pool isn't supposed to be that deep. Um, you wonder if they still try to cash in on on some young guys and see what they can find, or. You know, I was going to play this game with you guys. How many impact free agents are left? And it it impacts do- very right. It gets tricky because I mean, I think it's Bauer and Ozuna are the big fish. I'd say there's five left. Okay. Bauer, Ozuna. Yeah. I'm saying Odorizzi, even though I don't think Ooh. a lot of people would count that. But I mean, worse. You just said that if they signed the Odo. Yeah. If, if the Phillies signed Odo, it would change your mind on them. I wasn't so that's saying impact. Owen and So no get way. off my ass. I didn't get on your ass. I was in your ass. Didi. I think Didi can change the lineup. But okay. I but I wouldn't like I wouldn't don't put my feet to the fire and I'm gonna be screaming. I'll put your feet to whatever fire I want. And then is that four? So I need to find another one somewhere. There's a couple forgotten free agents. Justin Turner, Nelson Cruz. Like, those guys can be very oh, yeah. impactful pieces. Yeah. So, there's a couple more pieces than you'd think that are out there. Um, no, it seems like a nice Phillies move. Bringing Cole Hamels. I don't know what he's got left. Let's find out together, babe. He had his time there. I, I went Bill Walton a little bit on that. <laughs> I don't know what Cole Hamels is about. I wanted to play a game with you guys as well. Let's play a game. Hey, don't forget about who's leading the way for them. Your guy. You get the, you gave way too much credit for Yankees uh, championships. He's there with the Phillies. I mean, way too much is. You came in hot. You walked yourself back on it. Trev's now putting your what, feet in that? the fire. I think now, Joe Girardi's good at managing butt. a bullpen. I think that's all I've ever said. Well, that's what they need. If, they, if he can manage his bullpen, has decent enough pieces. I mean, like I said, this team has the pieces to be good. I'd like more pitching and more bullpen, to be honest. how Here's my game. How many catchers have signed a major league contract so far this offseason? Ooh. Real move. Two obvious ones. McCann. Uh... Castro to the Astros. Yep. Um, the Angels signed someone, and you guys laughed at me. Suzuki. Suzuki. Suzbot. Um, you got four. And I'll say there's one more that I forgot. One, two, oh, three, Romine. four, five, six, seven. There, eight. Yeah. Eight. I was kind of surprised by that. Eight catchers have signed We're major league about deals. Impact free agents. Yachty's still unsigned, right? I was. I was had a joke queued up. Because I was going to say the impact is that if he doesn't sign with the Cardinals, everyone's lost. No one knows how to play baseball in St. Louis anymore. <laughs> Luke Ma- Luke Maley, Austin Romine, Kurt Suzuki, Jason Castro, Kurt Casale, Mike uh, Zanino, James McCann, Real Muto. The catchers that are left, like how does this impact the rest of the Wilson catcher's market? Ramos. Wilson Ramos is the, is the next one left that's like projected – to be Start. a positive war starting catcher. Yachty Molina is obviously left. Tyler Flowers. And every oh. time I hear about Flowers now, I just think of um, Jason Kendall. Jason Kendall shit talking him on our show. <laughs> what did he, he just said? He was a giant we need pussy. Kendall back on here. We need Kendall. We do need Kendall back on here. 
Someone, oh, someone commented on the trivia show that he'd be good. That he's like a memory freak guy. So, and I mean, I'd love to do that. We don't even have to air it. <laughs> we yeah. can just do that. That'd be a lot of fun. All right, put him on the list Done. for season two trivia show. Done. Um, yeah, there's so some. There's not that many catchers left, so they'll all go somewhere. Russell Martin's still out there. If, did he retire? He's tired. Oh, yeah. Guys, know how baseball is hot in the streets? Yep. And it's fun. The whole egg stuff. Yeah. I think we're about to get real hot. I don't... It's been hot. I like think the, we're about to get real hot. The dam has opened. Because, I mean, a week Signings and a half have ago... have been coming. There was no DJ, no Springer, no Real Mudo. So the big fish have started to go. Guys, there's some teams that are going to make kind of splashy moves... The Dodgers, the Braves, those teams are in the mix, and they kind of haven't made their chess move yet. And I wonder if, you know, third base for both of those teams, Chris Bryant, Nolan Arenado, Justin Turner still out there. How many years can he still pick it at third? He's getting a little old. I think baseball is about to get hot, hot, hot. It makes sense. It's about damn time. We got spring training coming up. They have the rules set, essentially. I think that was a decent holdup for teams. Is the DH going to be or is it not? I think it's inevitable that JT ends up back with the Dodgers, but that would be a huge story if they said, you know what, let's go bring in Bryant for this year and just go run it. I don't think that happens. That would be a huge story. JT is going to be back with the Dodgers. Two years, I, yeah. 20 mil. Makes sense, right? He wants four. I don't know. That's He wants like four lot. years? Yeah. My dream. Dodgers have offered two. And I wish – Trev's Texas Rangers would do this Is do like the free agent Scrap heap team Like you could still put something together man Puig, Peterson, Colton Wong Still out there Taiwan Walker, friend of the program How much is Taiwan Walker going to make? Uh, One year Nine mil Phillies, go get him Go get him I like it. Where, what about Angelton Simmons? He hasn't signed, has he? Hasn't signed Him, Didi, and he's, Simeon he's, still he, out he, there He's been the best defender of the last 10 years. Nice. And it's not even close. It's not even close. I'd like it's the really Phillies to bring close. Didi back. I'm fine with that. I like him there. Lefty. Good defender. Solid. Nice guy. We'll put Simmons on. Your Simmons makes your team better. Makes your pitchers better. I'm excited. Where does he end up? Where does he fit? All of them are going to the Texas Rangers, and they're going to start anew. Mm-hmm. I will like I will like the Texas Rangers again if they do that. Okay. But they're not Don't lie. Because they have lie. zero direction. It's a lie, lie, Trev. It's a lie. You hate them. They mistreated I do hate you. Them. I they do. mistreated you. I do, but a lot of the guys that I hated are gone. Name them. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Should I? Jason Kendall. The Brewers are among teams showing interest in Justin Turner. I went to a King Felix start at a Texas Rangers game on Dollar Hot Dog Night. Ate myself sick. That's obvious. How many do you think you had? <laughs> oh, it's gross. I was with a buddy who eats. It was bad. Oh, they were disgusting. The, you together. the color of those hot dogs was, was not it for in eating. Texas? Yeah. Man, it was hot probably. Oh, it's gross. Dollar dog night at Oakland back in like 2006, huh. 2007. Maybe the most foul thing you could do. They looked like a shriveled up pinky finger yeah. in a bun. Is dollar hot dogs, and they were just disgusting. You ever eat a gray hot dog? That's when you know it's good. You ever eat a hot dog shot of a cannon? But the people who actually eat those? I've never done that. That's the Sounds like it would hurt. <laughs> Right into my mouth. BBD, you've, about? you've perked Is up with like all this hot a- dog talk. Uh, yeah, senior year of college, I was in the Philadelphia area. We had like a, a senior night at the ballpark, yeah. Philly game, drunkest I've been during the day ever. Let's and then uh, it was also Dollar Dog Night, and it was the night the Knicks lost the Zion lottery. So I I went nuts. Wow. How can you not be romantic about baseball? A lot of hot dog talk. Have you guys never seen a hot dog cannon? Is that a minor league thing? They don't do that. Oh, like they shoot the wrapped up hot dog. 
like yeah. a t-shirt. Oh yes, we were now, both picturing a loose. Hot I was dog picturing a loose hot dog into, into the yeah. mouth like Happy Gilmore. Oh no, no, but I don't know if I'd eat a sh- hot dog cannon. A Why? candid hot dog. Why are you too good for that? Hey, you were just at Costco. No. They got good hot dogs there. The LA, Trev. No, I'm not a Costco hot dog guy. It's just they are good, Trev. I just don't like them. Well, they're good. I got some. They got that um, onion thing. Crank all the onions right on there. They're like a a buck fifty. Yeah, look, you can't beat the price. I just got some ribeye cap. I'm gonna cook tonight, Jam. You know. All right. Well, Real Muto went to the Phillies. It makes sense. It had to happen. It's what everyone thought was going to happen. Now the Phillies, I would like them to make a splash or two more. I would hope that, you know, every team was catching the wave. Like, it's the Phillies' turn to catch oh, a wave. Phillies' wave. This They got Real Muto. They got Ivan Nova. Who's next? They signed Dude. Brian Mitchell this morning to a minor league deal. If that Ooh. gets you going. So Girardi is just yes. picking up all of his ex pitchers. He's Philly. So does the, okay. The, Girardi is just getting all of his ex players. That means Shane Green, okay. Clippard. I don't like Shane Green there. Shane Green, Clippard. I did a joking uh, tweet called the Yankees reunion bullpen because they're all free agents. Shane Green, Clippard, D. Rob. Uh, who else was it? There was like Moxie Phelps, Moxie Phelps. So now George 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 is going to steal those guys. I have two observations before we end. Please quickly. Uh, one is this team is going to maybe not go as he goes, but if he does God. become what Praise people Lord. think he can become, it's going to help a lot. Scotty Kingery, Kinger. They gave him the bag before he even stepped on the major league field. He has everything that you can think of tool-wise. He's got to put it together. He's been hitting with Judge um, for a couple of years now. Maybe something clicks right there. Uh, that would be a huge boost. Then second point being, we need to just realize how big of a stud JT Rumuto is. I, I want to make that point. I want to emphasize it. This guy is an absolute stud. He was a shortstop his whole entire amateur career. He put a uh, catcher's glove on uh, for the first time not too long ago. And now he's the best at his position. He's an absolute animal. So good for the Phillies. We don't need to see Bryce Harper's head rolling around center field in Philadelphia. I mean, I didn't want to see that at all. I didn't want to see it. How do you feel about this interaction? Jose Canseco tweeted out, Kurt Schilling would be a disgrace to the Hall of Fame. Kurt Schilling responded, cheated your ass off, and I still owned you. Good interaction. Good interaction. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Go Phils. Jake Sox.